Hey YouTube, it's RC Action Australia here, bringing another car um, to the to the channel here. Um, so this here is obviously a TLO one Subaru Impreza WRC 2001. Now the noticeable difference about some of the other cars that I've bought uh, in the TLO one range is that this comes with a factory finished body, stickered and trimmed and painted and a full ball bearing set. Now, I haven't seen a TLO one with those two things on the box yet. Um, and I said, I've bought quite a few with box. Um, so this obviously may be a rarer um, example of the car, I don't know, or a limited run that was put out. So if we do look at the, the body here, we'll come over into a little bit of sunlight. We've been a bit rainy here in the last couple of days. So the body itself, it's in immaculate condition. There's not a mark on it. Um, and as I said, it's um, perfect. So really, really happy with that. Normally you buy these with chewed up bodies. So that's, that's a good start. Um, obviously we've got all the manuals and some paperwork. We've got the full box. So if we look at the chassis here, um, the motor looks brand new. Even like I said, I've had a look in, like a quick look in it. There's not the wheels. Everything is brand new. So I don't think that this car has been run. To be honest, it's got a Sanwa radio gear set up in it. And um, if we look at the underneath of the car, as I said, it's all. As I said, I I can't see any marks or any evidence of actually running at all. And another thing that I was surprised with that I often find is a bit of an issue with some of these older cars with the three-step three control in it Oops. is usually you find that the high and you know the high powered section of these work, but the in-between sort of speeds, the sort of step one, two, and three, um, don't for well, step one and two don't usually work in forward and reverse. So, as I said, this one here, if we go one, two, three, so, so all three, all three steps work on that. So, as I said, I think that's that's a pretty cool find. Um, I didn't really pay too much for this. So, if anyone out there may have any idea of sort of what it's worth, as I said, I don't really buy these for sort of buying them and reselling them. It's more of a sort of collection thing for me, especially with the um, <coughs> the WRX um, and the TLO one. So as I said, that's sort of my collection is sort of collecting different variants of the TLO one. So um, as I said guys, hit like, subscribe, check out my YouTube and my Instagram channel, um, RC Action Australia. I do put some different content up there. So let me know guys what you think of this and uh, as I said if anyone can tell me a little bit more about this version of the TLO one with the finished body and the ball bearings um, that would be much appreciated. Cheers.